there's worldly love, and then there's godly love. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about love. Yeah, and what love is, right? Because love is one of the most important topics in all of Scripture, and I think it's one of the most important topics in all of life, and it's one that can be very confusing, partly because there's lots of different kinds of love, right? Like, I could say, I love my family, but that's that's very different than me saying, I love tacos, Right? Or like when my dad tells my mom that he loves her, that's a little bit different than when my dad tells me that he loves me. Right? But even though there's so many different kinds of love, I think that they could all be kind of boiled down into two specific kinds of love worldly love and godly love. And like if you look up love in a dictionary, you're probably just going to find worldly love. But if you look in your heart, you're, you are going to know that there's something more than that. Because if you look in the dictionary, love pretty much just means really, really like. Like, I love my friends, or I love my toys. And man, it's so easy to love likable things or likable people. And there's nothing wrong with that. But if that's all you have, that's really shallow and really fragile and honestly really selfish. It's like the easiest thing to do in the world. Everybody does that. But our hearts long for more than that. And if you think that that's what true love is, you're in for a world of heartache. No, real love, true love, godly love is sacrificial, right? It means that it, that it gives of yourself. The Bible says that this is love. Not that we loved God, but that God loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins, right? So like, what's the difference between us loving God and God loving us? The big difference there is God deserves it. There's nobody more deserving of love than God. There's no one more lovable or likable than God. No real love, sacrificial love, godly love is God's love for us because we don't deserve it. We're not even really that likable. But God demonstrated his own love for us and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. The Bible says that God is love, and he has set the perfect example for us for what real, true, and perfect love is. Real love, perfect love, godly love is a choice, a choice that you make to seek the highest good for someone else. And love is so important. Like, because the Bible says that if you have the gift of prophecy and you, you can understand all the mysteries in the world and you, you can you know, have so much faith that you can move a mountain, but you don't have love, you're nothing. Jesus said that the greatest commandment was to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And, and that the second greatest commandment was to love your neighbor as yourself. So what does that look like? What does real love look like? Well, in the book of 1 Corinthians, it says that love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. And I think we see so much darkness in this world because people are convinced that love means really, really like. And I think they think that because, well, all the dictionaries say it. But real love is more than that. It has to be. Like if everybody in the world just loves those who quote unquote deserve love, everything's going to fall apart. And everything is falling apart because that's how people are living. They're living like, you deserve love, and so I'm going to love you. And you don't deserve love, and so I'm not going to love you. Or worse yet, you don't deserve love, so I'm going to hate you. No, God set the perfect example for us because when we did not deserve love, Christ died for us. That's love. Real love is hard, but it's worth it. It's so worth it. And real love is hard because it requires action. 
Like we're not just supposed to love with our words or, or with our feelings, but with our deeds, with our actions. Worldly love is just saying, oh yeah, I really, really like that. You don't have to do anything to really, really like something. But godly love requires something of us. Jesus Christ gave everything for you. That's real love. And so my challenge to you guys today is that you would love, not just really, really like, but love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And that you would love your neighbor as yourself. Not because they deserve it, but because God loved you first. And God loves your neighbor so much that he died for them, just like he loves you so much that he died for you. I think everyone in the world is looking for real, genuine love. And it can only be found in Jesus Christ. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. And yeah, I really hope that you will love your neighbor as yourself. Real love, true love, godly love. Not just the love that the world has. And man, I'm so glad for the example that Christ set for us. If you want to know how to love, just read about what Jesus did. And the Bible is filled with, with encouragement and, and explanation for how we can love. Especially in the New Testament, it really unpacks this idea of love. So I'd really encourage you to go check it out for yourself. Some people have even called the Bible God's love letter to us. So yeah, you should absolutely be reading your Bible and, and learning more and more about how much God loves you and how you can better love others.